What's up guys? Welcome indeed back for another part of the best items in Diablo 4. Today we're going to be covering the Sorcerer Unique Items. So let's get started with Flame Scar. Now I believe this one was actually in the uh, beta here, but let's check out these special abilities. If you guys haven't seen part one, which does cover everything, I recommend you guys to check part one first, but this video is only going to be about the best and rarest items for the Sorcerer. So starting right off with Flame Scar. It's a one-handed wand that has the special ability on the unique um affix it says while channeling you periodically shoot embers that are attracted to enemies each dealing some set amount of fire damage so this could be good if anyone's interested in like a channeling build um now it does just say while channeling as far as i'm aware of there's only basically like the inferno channeling skill there's not like any other abilities but it does say while channeling and i'm guessing this one is still locked to the sorcerer however this could be very interesting if for whatever reason, you could potentially equip this on a, let's say, Barbarian, and while channeling with uh, your Whirlwind, you could actually shoot out embers in other directions. So that would be really awesome. Again, it says one-handed one unique sork, so I'm guessing not only is it, of course, being a wand, but more likely only the sorcerers can equip it. However, you know, we never know. Maybe we'll get a Kanai's cube. That would be really cool, and we can have these legendary powers on other characters. Uh, next up, though, we have a two-handed staff called the Staff of Endless Rage. Um, this is going to have a special power over here that says every third cast uh, of fireball launches a second uh, it says two additional projectiles so i'm guessing um that's basically what it does i don't know if this number can roll to like one to two like you know mirror ball and diablo 3 can roll but that's pretty good i mean obviously for any fireball build is going to be of course your best in slot next up we have the staff of liam essen so this is going to be a two-handed staff that has the special unique property where it says charge bolts pierce but deal a certain percent less damage. So kind of a interesting effect considering you usually wouldn't want it to do less damage. It would be even better, I think, if it said they would pierce and do more damage per pierce. That way you have like some sort of cool build idea. But obviously if someone's playing with Charge Bolt, which I haven't really seen anyone really play in Diablo 4, at least via the beta, a uh, Charge Bolt build. Basically it was Chain Lightning as well as Hydra to be like the most popular um, in terms of what I've seen. Uh, next up, though, we have Isadora's Overflowing Cameo. This is a amulet, and it has a special property here where it says upon collecting, um, I'm guessing there's a certain amount of crackling energy, uh, there is a uh, affix static value chance to release a lightning nova dealing some sort of a damage. So if you're doing any lightning build, this is probably going to be your best in slot as, uh, yeah, crackling energy is very important for any of the lightning builds as it really helps out not only in your mana, but it also does basically it's a small little like conduit effect. And it's actually going to be probably one of the best builds in the game is something related to lightning. If you guys have played the beta, you know, chain lightning is absolutely amazing. Uh, but you basically need to get a lot of crit in order for the build to feel good, which you're kind of limited to in the beta so definitely looking like this is going to be a very powerful amulet next up though we have esu's heirloom these are a pair of boots and it says your critical strike chance is increased um, by a percent of your movement speed bonus this is massive especially if this pair of unique boots can be equipped by anyone and on top of that has elite kill movement speed which is i think the first time i've seen this uh property on a item here but it does also give you flat movement speed but um this could be maybe the best in slot for a lot of different classes as if you're not running a pair of boots well crit strike chance and i believe in the beta like you can get stuff that was like seven percent but this isn't this isn't just like your movement speed bonus on your boots um this is just your movement speed bonus so i know in amulets you can get like eight percent so um i mean this could be opening the doors for a lot of different builds especially if your build has any bonus movement speed after certain abilities are activated this could be really good. So this could be one of those uh, items that can be a sought after item. Again, it says Boots Unique Sork, but we don't really know the full details as everything that I'm talking about take with a grain of salt as it is data mined. Um, next up though, we have the Riment of the Infinite. This is a chest unique armor. It says, after using um, teleport, close enemies are pulled to you and stunned for, uh, it says one and then it has some sort of like value here seconds but teleports cooldown is increased by number of value so maybe how it works is the more enemies that are pulled to you and stunned 
that is going to uh, change the cooldown. So it's kind of a negative effect, but overall, for PvP, I'm thinking this is going to be very powerful, as any stun in PvP is usually very powerful in any video game. So uh, this could be a really good thing for PvP, but for PvE, I don't know. Depends how much, uh, if it does do insane amount of damage, and the, how long that stun duration does it work for bosses, more than likely not. But nonetheless, that's what it actually does. Next up, though, we have the Gloves of the Illuminator. So these pair of... Uh, unique gloves have the special property where a fireball now bounces as it travels, exploding each time it hits the ground, but its explosion it deals some sort of less damage. So it's kind of like the other one where like the uh, charge bolts will deal less damage. My question is, will this work with the staff of the Endless Rage? Because these are a pair of gloves, so they could start bouncing and you can get multiple targets. This could be actually pretty good. It's actually looking like they're really supporting fireball over here. Now, we have... Ice Heart Brass, these are a pair of pants, and it says, Enemies that die while frozen uh, have a chance uh, to unleash a Frost Nova. Now, unfortunately, on kill effects aren't going to be, you know, maybe the most powerful, because it also has to be an enemy that is frozen that is also dying, and then there's a chance to do something. So, uh, I feel like in terms of, like, on paper, in terms of the Ice Heart Brass, it's looking a little bit weak. So, if I was to think about playing a sorcerer uh, in Diablo 4 when the game launches. If the game is launching with these sets of unique items, there really isn't an insane like ice build. I think in terms of mid-maxing, if these are going to be the most powerful and rare items to build your character around, it's looking like uh, lightning will be one of the most powerful as well as fireball, but we'll have to wait and see when the game launches. Let me know what uh, legendary uh, or unique, I should say, uh, power are you most excited for with the sorcerer? For me, honestly, I'm most excited about this amulet. I mean, the crackling energy, being able to activate another effect, depending on uh, this chance and Esu's heirloom, these are going to be probably the best in slot boots for like almost any class if we can equip on everything. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on it. If you're new here and want to see uh, the rest of the parts or check the pinned comment for the other ones, feel free to go and do so. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace out.